Well, so yeah. look, I want to just tackle this uh, question head on because we are yeah. adding progressive automation right now we're, and we're being transparent about it. But we're not uh, eliminating jobs in our company. We're changing and taking boring, repetitive, or dangerous tasks. We're automating those. But then there was a person doing those before. So then what's, what happens to that person? That's, I think, the intellectual honesty we have to approach this with. Yeah. So, so, so and that was part of the social responsibility that we wanted to build into the business. So we uh, invest in retraining. So we already have in our company today, we have 82 employees. We have examples of people who have moved from the kitchen to finance, to catering sales. We have actually one guy in the kitchen who's training to be a software engineer. And we're paying for that retraining. Let's uh, go through a scenario. There's 30 million people who work in truck driving mm -hmm. and uh, retail mm -hmm. in some way. Yep. I'm not even sure what the numbers are for food service, yep. but uh, that's just the retail front of the house. I don't know what the back yep. of the house is, yep. but let's add another 10 million there, 40 million jobs. Sure. Let's say this is year one or two for each of your companies. We'll fast forward in 10 years yep. and Moore's law continues and your ability continues and 30 million jobs are eliminated here in America. What should we do, Alex? Well, let me uh, start. If you by, were the president. Let me start by building on what Deepak said, because he was yeah. going down a really important road. So during the Industrial Revolution, there was the automatic loom that was invented. And all the weavers were up in arms because the automatic yeah. loom was going to put them all out of business. And in fact, that happened. But what was unexpected was that the price of textiles fell precipitously. And cloth, which was previously really only for rich people, was widely available. And so. 3x the number of weavers were created in sewers who are actually producing garments that were now available to the average consumer. So you don't buy that 30 million jobs could go away? No. I think 30 million activities that people are paid for, sure, in your example, 100%, those will go away. When do you think but they the go open away? Question, hang on, but the open question is, what will they be replaced with, right? right? How will the nature of work change? And it's not just in the direct replacement of jobs that we think about today, for example, People will need to fill the salary. People will need to maintain the salary, right? But there's whole new categories of work, things that we don't think about today, like hosts at the coffee bar mm -hmm. who, uh, whose, whose job is to create an emotionally satisfying experience for the person getting the coffee. And they can focus all of their attention and time on having a great conversation with that person because they're not operating a piece of equipment. So if the cafe becomes so profitable, you think you'll hire like a stand-up comedian and a guitar player? I kind of like where we're going with this. It's not as far-fetched as you're, as you're making it sound. No, I'm, I mean, if you're sitting there with Cafe X and let's say it becomes wildly profitable, yep. knock on wood, you could say, wow, we're doing so well. Why don't we add a, um, a, a nice uh, you know, classical guitarist to this every cafe? Maybe a DJ. Or, well, yeah. well, depending on the location. Yeah. And they could, uh, you could reinvest it. Hey everybody, let me tell you about an amazing product and service I use. It's called Wistia. Video is super important. You're watching this video right now. And we do lots of video for our incubator. This is one of my great secrets. We record every incubator session. Why? Well, because recording video is not expensive anymore. We have all the equipment anyway. Then we put it behind a password protected uh, firewall uh, and an intranet then the people who are in the incubator can go in and watch the videos and study them. Now here's where it gets interesting. We have an audit trail. We know when each of the people in the incubator have watched their video and we require that they watch the video and we can actually see that they've watched it once, twice, or three times and we can post comments on the video. So I will go in and annotate a video for one of the companies and say, hey, at this point in your presentation, you notice you didn't have numbers to back up your claim. You might want to add a number or a chart at this point. Hey, this part of the presentation, you were telling us about your product, but you weren't showing us the product. Why don't you do a little product demo here? And I can put those very specific notes in to the video. It's, this is a video created for under 30 or 40 people, but it's incredibly effective. Video is one of those tools that people in business don't think about that often, but that is super powerful. And I know you're probably thinking about it because you need a solution that is not messy and ganky janky and where the platform is trying to get more people to watch ads. You want a clean, crisp version of your video for your website and that's what you use Wistia for. It is industrial strength video for business. Who else uses Wistia? MailChimp, Moz, HubSpot, Zendesk, Herman Miller, Sam Adams, and they have grown to over 330 user accounts. When they started uh, as a partner on This Week in Startups two years ago, they only had 50,000. And they give you, again, amazing analytics like we talked about. They let you capture emails. So now we have, 
I think 80 or 90,000 emails on our email list. And every week we get a couple of hundred more and that adds up over time. And when you create a very deep relationship with people and it doesn't have to be forced, you can just say, Hey, would you like to get information on the next episode or come to a live this week in startups? Give us your email and you can have a skip button there, or you could require the email uh, for people to watch your video. It's up to you. You have the power with Wistia. Uh, it integrates with 20 email and marketing automation tools, and you can share your videos with everyone on your list. Tons of resources to help you get off the ground, like what microphones to use and putting video and email together and building a lighting center for $100. Their blog is amazing at Wistia. And you can create a free Wistia account today and start hosting your videos in minutes. Just go to wistia.com slash twist. Wistia.com slash twist. I love this company. It's awesome. We use it ourselves. 